There he is. What up, boys? There he is. Can you hear the, the applause? Did you hear that applause? I heard it very briefly. Can you play it again? Mm-hmm. Give it up for Grant Winkles, everybody. You're tuning in to the Grant Winkles show. <laughs> starring Grant Stinkles. Did the did you hear it? I, I keep hearing like the beginning like flash of it, then it goes away. It might be like the uh the zoom. Here, let me hold on, let me do a little uh, do, can you hear us? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear that? No. Let oh. me see if let me see if you can hear my my soundboard. All right, rip that. You guys getting anything? No. Only only when you talk. I think it's like it's like the zoom settings. It'll like duck your audio or something. You know what? Oh, I got an whatever, I got a dude. fucking apology to demand. Okay. Fucking technology, man. Oh facts. Pissing me the fuck off, dude. Making me mad as hell. Making me mad as hell. Shit shit ain't ever working. Shit ain't ever charging. Mm-hmm. Shit ain't ever turning on. Mm-hmm. This goes this goes this extends to work. Yep. This extends to the apartment. Yup. Work. It's fuck. Play, apartment. Work. Mm-hmm. What else is there? Fucking. That's it, man. That's all it is. It's just work or play. Those are the yeah. two. Those are the two <laughs> paths you can take in society. My phone's not charging right now. I have no idea why. I cleaned the butthole of my phone. Mm-hmm. And you clean. Just... You clean the bussy. Uh, yeah, I clean the fu- the funussy. Dude, my phone bussy <laughs> is going pretty crazy too. There's a lot of flint in there, or er, lint. Flint. Flint. <laughs> flint. There's no lint. clean water in my phone. <laughs> yeah. Flint while Michigan. we're on the subject, Flint, Michigan. What's going on there? What's going on? Have they got water in in Flint yet? Scrint, Michigan, more like. <laughs> Can they just turn on the fucking faucet? Yeah, dude. Has anyone showed up there? Hey, someone turn on the damn faucet. Should we get rid of AOC? There you go. There's this. There's the sound effects guy. <laughs> That's Here, the we'll uh, rusty faucet. Do you like our? Did you like our background? I did, did like, like that. It? Yeah, our I, AOC background. I don't like this one. Don't. Oh, there. how's yeah. this? Now we're in the kitchen. Now we're in our apartment. You, this reminds me of. Uh, are you guys watching Next Level? Next Level Chef on Fox. No, <laughs> no. I haven't, I haven't Gordon, even heard. It. It's the new it. Gordon Ramsay joint, dude. Dude, go. they've 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 got that guy on like five different joints. Man. Oh yeah, so many joints. He's chained up. <laughs> he's dude, chained. That, that, that dude has. He's had he's had twenty three TV shows, and everyone is like, "Hey, what if Gordon Ramsay got really mad at you?" <laughs> is this the one where they're turning him into lady a lady to go undercover? <laughs> Yeah, Gordon. Gordon is this Ramsey. where George, Gordon Ramsay's trans now? Yeah, he goes Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, Grant, how that. the hell are you, man? <laughs> I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. We're uh, we're we're about to get absolutely annihilated with snow here in Minnesota. Yeah. So consider yourselves lucky, you guys. Yeah, uh, man. It's on. like 50 in New York. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah, nice. It's been nice here. Um, but yeah, I kind of didn't clock it. And uh I don't I don't pay attention to the news anymore. No, we don't do news at all. We used to I've, be big news guys, you and me. Yeah. The only thing I've heard about recently is uh trains crashing. Yeah, yeah. apparently there's what there's a bunch of trains crashing and then there's a uh-huh. bunch of toxic uh fuel and gas that's being spilled. Listen, yeah. fellas, is what, what did what did my over. did my mixtape <laughs> oh, get spilled? My. Ooh. What am I, goddamn hip hop mixtape? Was that on the train? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, seriously, you're listening to the We Cool podcast, and you will hear a lot of fucked up jokes like that during this episode. Okay, Just a lot a of t- taste, a lot of twisted humor. Yeah. Also, we have um, Clay Parks in the building. Why don't you hit hit him with some applause really quick for yourself? Do I have a? Hold on, let me see if I have something cool. Yeah, here. <laughs> or... Clay. <laughs> Clay, keep that blicky on him, Parks. <laughs> Clay, keep that motherfucking blicky on him, Parks. Can you pass me the blicky? Pass me, dude. Grant, we I've been calling everything at work the blicky. Okay. You know that, that just um. That means gun now. Yeah. Oh, it does. Yeah, that's what you call. That's what like a rapper would call a gun. Oh yeah. Since uh, how long yeah. has that been going on? Can you guys bring me up to date on that? I have no idea. Maybe we have like we, a couple days. Maybe like a couple days. <laughs> we we just me and Clay talked to our Puerto Rican cooks and we're just like, well, what's going on? And they're like 24. 
what are the rappers saying? They were like, doing yeah, do you want to hear a new one? Yeah. This one Rico told me. He said, um, so like the new like on God, like when you say something, and you're like, you no, know, on God, like you're being for real. You say on some on some fake sh- on some fake shit. Like huh. I'm I might pull up I might I might fake pull up on you. And that means like you're what? gonna. That means like you're gonna pull up. <laughs> When you say I, I, like I might pull up on you on some yeah. fake shit. Every day's uh-huh. a, every day's officer day for the Puerto Rican cooks. Wow. Yeah, and then when Rico tells me that, I'm like, wow, that is so cool. Yeah, <laughs> so smart and cool. I'm like, <laughs> wow, you guys are really doing something over there. <laughs> they're Dude, doing they're basically so what Ryan does. <laughs> which, yeah, just make up insane things to just say. Just invert whatever whatever it is, and then there's which R I R I P Ryan. Yeah, Ryan's Ryan's dead. <laughs> Ryan died. <laughs> he got snuck. He got stuck in a snowbank that hasn't come yet. Yeah, his Somebody... little his little short ass. He got stuck in the snow. <laughs> Somebody pulled the blicky. Someone pulled the blicky up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Ryan Ryan's little ass. He got trapped. <laughs> He got trapped in the snow. He got trapped in a bucket in the back of his truck. <laughs> How much snow are you guys gonna get, dude? It they're saying twenty inches. Uh, Whoa! Between now and Thursday, you're getting the size of my penis in snow. It's not, yeah, dude. I was gonna say what? that's too big. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I what, know. You know what I thought of the other day that <laughs> I I have no idea when or where I'll be able to use this other than right here. And this is just for any anybody listening, I suppose. This is going to be uh, public domain now. Is uh, a girl who's going to, she wants to suck somebody's dick, but their, di- their dick is too big for her to suck. She goes, oh, I guess my eyes were longer than my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. And if she's sucking his dick in public, you can call that public dome main. Okay. <laughs> So see now I'm a rapper now. I'm yeah. That's like a that's like a little Wayne bar. Yeah. I was and about if, to if give you suck his dick in public, you can call, <laughs> call that public, public dome, dome man. man. Hell yeah. I was gonna yeah, give man. You shit for tagging that on to my thing, but then I was like, well, my thing, <laughs> my thing doesn't really have many legs to stand on. I think your leg has many dicks it's to stand on. It's got about three legs to stand on. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's got two legs and one <laughs> shorter leg, slightly shorter leg to stand on. One 20 inch leg. <laughs> one 20 inch leg. <laughs> Bro, can uh, you imagine having a 20 inch penis? That That just, <laughs> come on now. No, yeah. I mean, he ha- doesn't ha- have to. Having a two inch yeah. is already it's enough. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you if you tax it on eighteen more inches, oof, <laughs> oof, oof, that's a rough tax rate. Robin Williams, oof, 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 oof. Oof. <laughs> You'd have to have 20, 22 inch shorts at least inseam. At <laughs> least twenty two inch shorts, or uh, in some countries they call those pants. Yeah, <laughs> Ireland, Ireland. Oh uh, man, dude, I am so tired. Yeah, you guys, uh, what's what's been going on with you, you cats, you dogs? What's you, you're sipping on some wine? I see that's nice. Yeah, yeah, I gotta I gotta have some wine to. I I went out last night and um had to work all day. And we, me and Clay have just been working a lot. Work has just been kicking us right in the fucking bussy. So yeah, I've been the I've dick been and bussy. Um. It's kind of nice, isn't it? When you kind of get in the rhythm of work. I know the the, the, the work itself isn't. Uh, I can get in the rhythm. If I work with Clay, I can get into the rhythm. And then if I work with a couple other people who will not, like maybe like one other guy, I can get into the rhythm. But we have these new people who are just like, they're, they're, they're terrorists, dude. Dude, they're destroying yeah. me, dude. These new girls. I love them. They're I like very one of them. I like fine people. One of them mm-hmm. we like. I like I, them both. They're both nice. They're both I nice. like them both. They're both good people, but they're both evil in two different ways. Yeah. One <laughs> one you, of them's anymore. One of them's dating one of the cooks and they just argue. <laughs> okay. It's like a fucking uh it's someone's going to die. Yeah, they just <laughs> get mad and it's like don't don't bring that into the workplace. They're oh. like fa- outside of work. They're all cute and cuddly. And then as soon as they're both in the same place with their son, me. Yeah. You <laughs> decide to fight. It's like, no, fight without the I child mean, here. please. Sounds like it might be your fault is what I'm what I'm picking it, up. Dude, it feels like it every time. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, what did I do? They um, put that energy on you. I'm eating rice pudding, dude. Chill out. <laughs> what? I'm, uh, 
Are they arguing about work or are they arguing about personal matters? Never work, dude. It's personal. <laughs> it's never work. Dude, one of them's like, oh, my God, man. It's just, it's not the guy's fault. I'm, I'll say it. The guy's Whoa. cool. He's, Whoa. <laughs> I believe women. I believe women. You know? But and I believe when they're acting up too. Okay, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. You better believe that, you be, and you better believe that, listeners. <laughs> and I will not apologize to that. Dude. This is the apology b- podcast, but it is, it is, yeah, 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 dude. dude. It's and then the other one, she just she trauma dumps on me all day. Yeah, mm. she's got the girl tism. She's got girl tism. <laughs> she spurgs out and just fucking hits me with some like. <laughs> It's too much shit, and I don't know how to shit. respond. I don't even Damn. want to say it on the podcast. I don't want to spill. Yeah, her. you, you oh, can't no. be spilling her beans. I like can't that. be spilling her beans like that. Um, That's not your coffee to grind. Up. No, but dude. again, I mean, if you just make tra- that up. Yeah. That's if not your coffee to grind. Yeah. Come on, man. Dab me up. Yeah. If you're trauma dumping at work, again, we might be back to public domain territory, Maine. Dude, know. it's real. I mean, she shouldn't be. It, yeah, it's like we, she's it's like she's giving she's making her shit public domain and and, and I'm like as her lawyer I'm like do not tell people yes, this don't do like, that throw a password is, on that yeah throw <laughs> throw a lot of security yeah I got that get a little two f yeah throw throw some firewall on that my guy because like and also <laughs> trauma is also here's the thing about trauma too. It's sad. <laughs> yeah, it's never like fun trauma. It's like fun uh, trauma. Like like when Chris talks about watching his friend get hit by a train. Like yeah. that's fun. <laughs> mm-hmm. And the train was also Chris too, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> it might as well. If you've heard Which, that story. Wait. Apology to man. Chris broke my fucking damn couch the other day. That's night. honestly that's the apology I demand that's, on this okay. episode. Can we can we hear the story? All right. So yeah, fucking, I can tell you the story. Well, can I tell my version? You tell. Yeah, you tell what happened for, for you because it's funnier. For me, so real I, quick, is 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 his friend okay? Did this happen in New York? Yeah, Chris is fine, dude. No, his friend. Did his oh, friend oh, this didn't friend? happen. No, this was like a thing that happened when he was a kid. Okay, but, but this, a lot of people have been jumping this, in front of the tracks lately. True. No, this kid, this kid was like, "Do you want? Do you guys, like?" It was a group of friends with Chris, and they're like, "This kid's like, do you want to see me get you know run over the train tracks?" And they're like. No, and he's like, I'm gonna do it, and they're like, Okay, he laid down, and then he laid down, and no. he lost his legs, dude. He lost his leg. Oh. Yeah, he survived. Yeah, he's alive. He's chilling. Wheelchair? I think so. Wow, it's heavy, dude. It's crazy because he got ran over with a thing that has wheels, and he's forever on. Now wheels. he's also on wheels. It's like the train. <laughs> Dude, that's like, like, the, the, into a train. Train. like the damn Twilight Zone, dude. <laughs> the train, the train that turned the damn train. I love Tommy. You you hear a guy gets his legs chopped off by a train, and you go wheelchair. What other option is there? I don't know, man. He could maybe, crawl. Yeah, maybe he's <laughs> he's going crawl mode. Maybe maybe he walks on his stumps. That'd be funny. <laughs> he's in his critter era. Dude, I'm all over the place right now. I'm sorry. I feel like I've I've told I'm in six different stories Wait, right now. Tell tell so yeah, okay. Chris broke okay. our fucking couch. You tell your version first. All right. So I fucking get home to the apartment. Which, by the way, me and Clay we live together now and we have a nice home. And I just want to say I've been really enjoying our living situation. We've been having a good time. It's been wow. pretty good. Mazel yeah. Tov. Mazel tov. Cheers. Um but uh yeah, so I get home. I'm uh getting back from a show or something and um uh, I Chris is on his way out, so uh, I see I see Chris. And I'm just like, oh, what's up, Chris? And he's like, oh, nothing much, man. We just did the podcast, you know, uh, Clay's podcast. Who up? Go check it out. It's funny. Um, I did some episodes recently. So high. I did one yeah. episode. I don't smoke weed, and I smoked yeah. so much weed. And <laughs> <laughs> it was so fun. <laughs> yeah, chill on that. Um, <laughs> um, yeah. So I get home. I'm like, what's up, Chris? He's like, yeah, we just did the podcast, you know, tells me like a riff they had. I'm like, oh, that's funny. You know, we chop it up for like five minutes or so. And I'm like, all right, man, I'll see you. I'll see you around. He's like, all right, see ya. Get home immediately. Clay's like, Chris broke your couch. And I'm just like, he didn't even <laughs> care to mention that to me. He didn't tell him. We, yeah. we He could have just been like, hey, man, also broke your couch. Uh-huh. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm a big guy or no, whatever. He let him walk into the apartment where the couch is on the floor. I took all the legs off. Yeah. He snapped After one trying of the- to fix it for, for 15 minutes. Yeah. Can I ask a question? Was it just Chris on the couch? Yes. <laughs> yes, he was charging his phone over there. 
where I have my phone technology. Charger. Here we are again. And uh, he went to sit problems. down. Fucking technology. Here, here's the thing about Chris, and I I don't mean this in any kind of mean we spirit. Love Chris. We, we love Chris. Chris. That's the homie. I'm a big guy too. I'd be plopping on couches. Yes. Yeah. You know. I have a little more control over when gravity takes over, though. You have plop control. I have plop control. You're, I know you're PC. It, I'm Fortnite dropping in. <laughs> I know where I'm gonna land. Yeah, and also you're a and, dancer, so a lot of people don't know this about Clay, but he's a dancer, so yeah. he has like a very like uh, you have a you have a del you have a gracefulness about you. Yeah. that a lot of big guys don't have. Right, because Chris, Chris Farley esque, not on the same. Uh, you're Chris Farley. Right, yeah, 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 you could move around. Yeah, yeah, and I and I know how to sit down soft. Right, mm -hmm. Chris is a big guy, mm -hmm. and when Chris sits, it's less of a sit and more of a fall. And so he, <laughs> he went to sit, he, he fell into the couch. And so, the, I mean, yeah. it's fucking particle board. It's not like it, yeah, it's, it's a good wood yeah. to begin with. I mean, mm -hmm. that could have happened to any of us if we hit the couch at the wrong velocity yeah. speed and you know whatever yeah. i mean lord knows i come home drunk i can maybe even maybe do some Tommy, damage i feel like you would shoot through it like a pencil <laughs> i just stab i go through it i stab I, 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 gotta call Clay. I gotta be like hey I'm, I'm, stuck stuck in the couch. Couch. I'm stuck in the couch i'm stuck in the pull me out of the couch <laughs> but yeah no so he said but he tried i mean i watched it happen i look over while he's about to sit down which is hilarious because he even told me at one point he would never sit on that couch because it doesn't look like it would hold him <laughs> which is so hilarious he just, he's aware he knows so, yeah he knows and he went to sit on the couch and he just like falls into the edge it scoots back and he continues to sit into the couch because <laughs> well, he's not gonna he get up. can't stop himself. <laughs> no. it's too and the fucking tr the part of the frame that holds the leg broke. Mm -hmm. It also, wasn't a leg. It wasn't the leg. It was just part of the little block in the frame that yeah. it, it's easy to it's, replace. We're gonna, we're gonna fix it. It's gonna be easy to fix. I'm just fucking lazy. And <laughs> yeah, we're. I mean, we both have so much shit to do. Yeah, all the time. And we do a pretty good job, man. I mean, like we we've been getting a lot done around the apartment, and yeah, you got your shelves. Like what? You get you got a little chore wheel. Uh, not a no, chore come wheel. On, yeah, come on, man. We're not fucking <laughs> girls. You're the one who's talking about college? domestic bliss. Oh, we've been getting on some stuff done. Home Depot. I, well, You're I've been talking going to like home... chore wheel people. We're we have chore. I have chore wheel energy without the fucking wheel. Yeah, I don't need the wheel. I just know. Oh shit! The I, oh I, the garbage has kind of been there for a while. I'll yeah. take that out next time I go downstairs. Mm -hmm. Well, I brought in like the most stuff, so I have the most like I have like a lot of organization that I still yeah. need to do. So is this is this the place that you were living previously, Clay, or did you guys both move into a new place together? No, I was living here since like okay. halfway through October. This was okay. where I went when I was, this is where I went after I was done being homeless. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. The, you were, and then I was in purgatory, purgatory homelessness. Mm -hmm. uh, that's purgatory. when I was sleeping on the couch for two weeks. Right. That was a tough two weeks for me. Who else, who else is living there with you guys? Is it the cave and Chris? No, no just got, cave. And then, and then oh. just cave. But Chris oh, okay. might need the you might need to crash on the floor. Chris might need the beach well on the floor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Instead. I mean, he comes to New York, no place to live, no money. <laughs> yeah. He he came back. He came out here with me initially set. More so than me. Well then what but you were the one taking care of everyone. And then you came here. And then set. I and then I got it. No, I had no money. I had like three thousand dollars. That's a pretty decent start. For New York, though, yeah, I, I, would, mean, I would go at least six, seven grand, maybe. Yeah, multiply that a little bit, and yeah. <clears throat> but I got a job first. Mm -hmm. Let me top you off. Yeah, top me. Did you? A little top. Was your first job bathhouse? Uh, my first real job that had me making money. Yeah, uh, I was doing some bullshit with some guy. <laughs> Some yeah. podcasting stuff. Oh, um, yeah, I, remember I was I was going through finding like ticket shit for a booker beforehand once a week, where I would get paid like seventy five bucks. But to to find take ticket shit, what do you mean? Oh, uh, I just he he was having me go through like every single act, uh, and using what scalpers use to look at how many tickets there are. Oh, and then just recording all of that data. Shit, dude. Yeah. And then I was getting paid 75 bucks for mm -hmm. like 
four hours. And then I hooked you up in this nightmare. Yeah, you 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 really fucking dragged me into hell. I and I and I told you I I was like, listen, man. I love it though. I it's kind of nice, man. We steady can, paycheck. Steady paycheck. Uh, not that hard of work, but annoying as fucking shit. But I don't know. I think that's every job. It's it just working, man. It just hurts your brain, man. Shout out to everyone who just keeps working and trudging along and trying. It is a, a nightmare out I'm here. I'm proud of everyone without dreams. I'm every, proud of I'm proud yeah. of everyone, man. Every time you think you're on top of it a little bit too, it's just like, oh, this is gonna cost you seventeen hundred dollars today. So just yeah. like goodbye to any like extra money you were about to like. You know what I mean? There's all yeah. dude, just life. There's always life a just two thousand dollar pit that is coming. You don't. That's the thing. We make good money, but you don't own any of the money you make. Right. Your money belongs to society in New York City. Yeah. And that includes the eighty dollar bar tab I ran on Friday night with you. Yeah. Yeah. There's I mean, no that, way that, around that. <laughs> there's no way around taking out a hundred dollars at Old Stanley's to get fifteen beers. To get, to get so drunk, dude. And I will not, with the do, not do that. Dude, Clay was risen it up on Friday night. I was he was talking to two baddies stuff. and he was dancing with them. Yeah. He was showing Damn. them how to he was showing them oh, how to waltz shit. or some shit. I was showing them how to twirl into a dip. Mm. Clay did Clay was Clay was a dancer and ballerina. Ballerino. I was one of those guys. I think ballerino. ballerino. I did tab dance. I did hey, all the hey ballerino. Hey, ballerino. Ballerino. <laughs> ballerino. Uh, um I don't think we've had you on since I I since you moved to New York, man. Yeah, I no, you did here. one. You did one episode of my old apartment. Yeah, I think you might have just. I wasn't living there yet, though. No, you weren't living here. You're you visiting. Yeah, mm-hmm. you got you got any uh, any fun stories from? Uh, can you can you just like walk us through? Because you did do. You were kind of crazy. You were kind of. Let's go back to that. You were. You just moved out to New York, kind of with nothing. Yeah. But how Dude. how did that go for you? <laughs> I mean, honestly. Better than I th- better than my both of my friends. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> better me. than both of the two people I moved out here with. Well, you had me. I was a little bit of an anchor because I was in like a steady relationship at the time. You also you helped me get a job. Now, um, now I'm now I'm just as down bad and rocky as the next guy. Yeah. I mean, what it was was it was mostly like trying to find a job was the biggest part because then I could start putting away money. And then the next mm-hmm. thing was like housing. So like Hanging out in the in the Airbnbs was like chill for all a my, little bit. All my life, I wanted to work at a bathhouse. Good fellas. <laughs> as far back as I can remember, as far I wanted back. to work at a bathhouse. <laughs> Dude, to you're... me, seeing people in bathing suits all day was the coolest thing in the world. <laughs> also, I'm fully clothed and serving that. <laughs> also, I'm sweaty and I'm sweating out whiskey. I'm dying. I'm currently sweating out the cheapest... <laughs> fucking beer imaginable and whiskey. Mod- my, Modelo's you and whiskey. You me and I taste like Modelo, but light and well whiskey. <laughs> it's yeah. all we drink. It's the tracking shot of him walking in the back door, but it's really short and it's just you walking in and getting yelled at by four. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Getting me looking at people at in bathing head. suits was the coolest thing imaginable. <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah, it's like a, it's like that clip of of him like you're you're Jimmy Conway putting money in my pocket yeah in my, in my thing is that De Niro yeah that's De Niro I'm De Niro yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> fuck yeah I love like, I love that hey pal you work you work just like this you might see some titties on accident <laughs> <laughs> but you do I would now nah, I've never seen any you, but you don't bathhouse though no I'm scared to go down there yeah once I'll go down there I go down there like once a week and like maybe like once a month I'll see I'll see live titties out there and, it, and, and, and is it and people it, just flying them, like flying them? Yeah, you can be topless. Yeah. yeah, because the guys are topless, and we're in a free of the nipple era, which I started, by the way. <laughs> you are though. You... I came up with free the nipple. I want to go on the record. What? Sex. Yeah, that was me. No, no. Yeah, that was me. And I would have, I would have n- heard about this. No, dude. In like two, in like I in wrote like the nine... AV Club article about it. <laughs> the, what about the AAVE Club? The AAVE uh. Club. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty much the exact same thing. It's pretty much there. That, it, they're already doing. It's not. Yeah, it's like this album is gas. <laughs> did you, did you gas, hear about the, uh, the journalist who tweeted that um, maybe the women of Afghanistan just need to learn about black girl magic and then tagged uh, no. Beyonce and no, yeah, that's real. <laughs> what was fucking 
Was Kurt <laughs> Metzger like, was Kurt Metzger like <laughs> running this account? Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, uh, that's, was that's, like that's Nick that's Mullen real. running this journalist? Yeah, it sounds account? like it. This is a psyop. This is crazy. That's funny. <laughs> Fucking. I'm sorry. Yeah, I apologize, oh. listeners, for being a bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> we, oh, we apologize for being bad guys. Yeah, we're, that's the whole podcast is that we're not mm-hmm. good guys and we have anxiety. Yeah. Right. Did you? No. Did you, uh, where, where were you staying, Clay, when you when you first got out there? Like, I, this is the Clay saga. Oh, dude, yeah. I was staying in Woodhaven for two months and then I moved out to Ozone Park, which was hell, dude. If you don't know Ozone Park, it's like hell the, on it's like the first neighborhood, neighborhood outside of Rockaway, it's like right by JFK Airport. It's and, sick, yeah. it's a great neighborhood. The place was fine, yeah. It the just, place was not fine. No, 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 the, the place oh, itself oh, was fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ozone Park's cool. Yeah, there's shit going on. We just were not taking care of a goddamn thing. Dude, this because I was being petty and working every day. Yeah. yeah. So I would come home and I'm like, why the fuck do I gotta take out the fucking garbage? Dude, it's how I got that impression of you. I have an impression of Clay. Yeah. Do you, you want to hear Grant? Yeah. Ask me a question. Any question. Um, how's it going? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Because yeah. <laughs> it's because it's because when you were living in the ozone park apartment, yeah. you would come out, you would go go to work every day and be like, "What's up, bro?" And you'd be like, "Yeah, it was dude. It sucked. I was sleeping on a terrible bed. It was hot. It was an all area. the time. Summer, dude. Summer, so it was just a million degrees. No AC. No one's cleaning up after themselves in the fucking Airbnb. We stay there for three months. Oh, Chris gets COVID and some other bullshit goes on with him. So he's like gone for like a week or two. You're paying all the rent. He loses his job. I'm the only one out of three guys in this Airbnb who has employment and making any kind of money. I'm fucking, (laughs) dude. It was hell on earth. Dude, I went over one night to like shoot a sketch or something and like the this dining room table is in, it's insane. It's it's uh you know like those like meat- You could smoke in the Airbnb. Oh, so yeah. Cave and I oh. were just blasting cigs. And this is we were on six. Black and milds, and then Chris is just smoking oh weed. And here's here's the thing you though. Know it's smoke crazy Here, here's the thing is Cave and I had a little ashtray and we would like empty it out. Chris would just find whatever garbage he could find mm-hmm. and cans. just put ash in it and then uh-huh. set it on top of his social security card. Dude, I get oh. there. Dude, I get there. Bro, Grant, I get there and I look at the dining This dining room table is insane. It's like those memes where it's like those like fucked up looking like rooms with all it's guys. It's a guy like out sleeping in. on a mattress. Yeah, and there's like <laughs> and just, just trash everywhere. With garbage. Yeah, and someone will just like post that and go like, this is pure bliss or whatever. <laughs> It, 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 was it, it was one of those spots, and I go there, and I go, bad. I go, hey, is that a, I'm like, is that a social security card? And I go, Chris, your social security card's under, like, an ashtray and, like, somehow four glasses stacked on top of each other. <laughs> and he goes, oh, yeah, I know, that's where it's supposed to be. And no, I was it's just, not. Uh, no, it's not. It's not supposed to be there. You know how offensive uh, that, that's that is? That's supposed to be in your parents' basement, bro. <laughs> it's Dude, supposed my, to be, it's supposed to be supposed missing to be in, your, in your parents' basement. It's supposed to be in your mom's pussy. Your that's mom just, doesn't even know where it is. Take, it's so fucking gone. You better take that social security card, put it in your mom's pussy, boy. <laughs> that's literally where mine is, is in the abyss, <laughs> because it's lost in my mom's basement somewhere. Dude, and, and he's like, yeah, it's supposed to be there. And I'm like, you know how offensive it is to, like, every immigrant? <laughs> That he has, that he, he ha- he's a s- civilian in this country with, yeah. With documentation, yeah. and he's just like, He's using it. his social security card to, like, rail up lines of bath salts. and Fuck, yeah, fuck I'm out he, of toilet paper. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was horrible, dude. And then uh, and then after that, I was homeless, so I lived with uh, uh, our buddy Wolfgang, Wolfgang and Jonah. Friend of, friend of the show, Wolfgang nice. Hunter. Nice. Yeah. That was fine. Yeah. I started getting really back into drinking, though, when that happened. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Were you, now were you now we're medium. Going, were you going we're medium clean style? Drinking. Were you going clean style for a second there? There was a bit, yeah, where I was, like, doing shrooms and smoking weed instead of drinking beer. Nice. Because I, I had, like, one night where I drank too many beers and then just, like, yelled at Chris. Oh. 
yeah. at one of those nights. You know, yeah. everything that's pent up just comes out out of nowhere, and you're just like, "Fuck you!" Yeah. It's like one thing you're just in that mode that yeah. day when when you're like, "I'm ready," and if one thing happens mm-hmm. to to start this chain, we're doing it. It's yeah, like all coming out. It's like in Minecraft when you knock down like one sand block and then all of them start falling. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But in your defense, though, you were like struggling together with your friends and that can bring out a lot of tension. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of like, you know how uh, you have a dad who works every day and he just comes home, has beer, watches his programs and then goes to bed. Yeah. I was like on that regimen. Uh-huh. And then I had two Fox kids. What? Fox News dad mode. Yeah, Fox News dad mode. Yeah. I have two sons that aren't doing shit. Yeah. One's laying in his room all day. The other one's learning how to use programs on his computer. Mm-hmm. And then like door dashing for a little bit. Yeah, you had you were raising two sons. I think that was a very frustrating thing. <laughs> and I them. I was just peak like broke. Mm-hmm. I you was just like think Ren and Stimpy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, yes. <laughs> and it just, there, there was, like, so much going on. that it and was I was your, your uncle. Yeah. Who was like, you can keep a couple things at the apartment. <laughs> yeah, my pots and pans. Keep your pots and pans. They were there for the months. The pots and pans, man. They're good. Great You've been using them? Oh, yeah. I got to buy groceries. Cause here's the thing. Here's the thing you, 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 we all know about dads is every, every once in a while, they're going to blow up. They're going to blow up on you. you got to, right? they, because they hold everything else in. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Dude, I was thinking about this exact thing the other day about because, yeah, my dad, my dad did that exact thing every fucking day of my life, the whole time growing up. And you as a little kid, like you hear this a lot growing up, but it's like you really take that for granted that this dude was just going to work every day to just oh, yeah. find everything around you. And, yeah. and he would come home. This is what I was imagining. This is what like, like imagine being a dad, being your dad, because you, you have such a weird idea of your dad you know because he's your dad he's not just yeah. like a normal guy he's not any guy you might see on the street just like sitting in his car in the driveway not wanting to go inside just like want not even not yeah. wanting to be around you but just not he wants one day off to just blow off to the bar or do whatever yeah yeah, yeah. and he just can't do it and he's just got to turn the car off and walk in and fucking deal with your mom's bullshit <laughs> Honey, I did laundry today. That's great, bitch. <laughs> and then look over. Look over at your fucking kids. Your for fucking kid, piece. Dude, you just work all day, and you're just like, I mean, work today for me, it just kicked me right in the dick. Yes. And if I had to go home and see a fucking little Grant going like, Dad, I, I uh <laughs> I had baseball cards. I would be like, "Oh, I'm going to, I'm going to hit him. I'm, I'm going like, to yeah. hit him." I'm gonna family annihilate. But maybe, maybe there's I moments where it's where pure Chris bliss. Ben Wall came from. <laughs> <laughs> maybe there's moments where it's like pure bliss and joy, where your son comes home and wants to tell you something. I think, but like, I think there is that. Like, there's oh there for that. sure. But there's also the flip side of it where it's just like, God damn it! You, you just life is just it's already it, it's it's no breaks all the whole goal in life is to try and get as much vacation time and break as possible you just want yeah. you just want breathing room whether yeah. that is uh your weekends whether it's off work whether it's a beer at the pub yeah. getting a cheeky pint with the lads yep. you just want room to breathe because you don't because everything's chores yeah life is every day you wake up and it's just chore chore chore, chore i gotta chore. run errands <sighs> I, every yeah. day, every weekend, I, I people want to hang out. No, I have I have errands for. I have, I have to, do, to do my laundry. I have to fix my couch. I have to go to Target for have, some reason. Yeah. I don't even know why. I just know I have to go there. I have to wipe my ass and take a shower. I, yeah. I don't want to do. I that. haven't wiped my ass all week, <laughs> <laughs> and it's my one day off. So you best believe <laughs> my butthole's getting its weekly I'll cleaning. Wipe it. <laughs> Yeah. You know I'm wiping on the weekends. Yeah, and then it's like at night you're just like, I think I'm gonna go spend too much money to be miserable for the rest of the week. Yeah, yeah. and dude, we go to. I mean, me and Clay have been having a fun time doing comedy and doing shit and going on excursions and then going to the bar after a little mic after a little oh, I show. Love that. What there's and like we no just we just that. we just spend money and we. And it feels good. It feels, dude. It's I, so nice. I wake up the next, dude. I woke up Saturday morning. I was hungover. I did. Oh, yeah. I did go on a run. I kind of fixed it. I gave myself nice. some good medicine. But I woke up and I was like, I don't regret a thing. Yeah, I woke up and I went, oh, fuck it. 
You almost. How many Ubers did we take last? We took two, somehow so, two. For Ubers going to so. one place, we somehow took six Ubers. Oh my god, six hundred dollar yeah. Ubers. Uh, I'm on day twenty one with no no booze. All Let's right. go, dude. Yeah, feeling feeling pretty good, you know. Oh yeah, that's great, man. You look good. No Thanks. no booze at all, like no elkies. Yeah yeah, no nothing. You just said no booze and, and I'm like, like, sorry, you're crushing some beers here and there. Yeah, no no oh, no beers. Nice. It's yeah, like, um, yeah, I don't know. It's you can just brainwash yourself into things, you know, because now I'm like, oh, I'm never going to drink again. And then it's like I'm going on the road with Joey Hamburger in two weeks. It's like, yeah, dude, I, I got, I got, I got some... fucked with him. I got fucked That's up with him on Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. He's the fun. Yeah. He's the funnest guy to drink with. Yeah. Dude, we're I, going, I was watching um, John Wick on Saturday. Nice. Nice. I'm uh, I'll uh, I'm going We're me and him and Courtney Baca are going on the road for like 10 days. Whoa, that's a good group, bro. Yeah, from uh, March 9th through like the 18th, we're gonna be we're gonna be out there hitting shows. Yeah, so yeah. If anybody's in Denver or Fort Collins or Des Moines or Omaha listening to this, hit me up on Instagram. We'll get you to the yeah. show. Mm-hmm. Um, we're tweet gonna tweet out where you're gonna be too. Yeah, yeah. I'll repost that we'll, shit. We'll, nice. Yeah, I'll repost. Oh, yeah. No one cares yeah. what I do anyway, but. I, I think people gonna, care what you do. Nah, yeah, what's going on? Every time I post on? a show, dude, every time. Every time I dude, post a show, that's just, that's, like, like, that's just the game, dude. That's like, promo, dude. Oof. But no one cares about promo. No one no cares if you fuck about none of every, it. People just want jokes. They want don't me want... to say tweet, bo- they want me to say boobs. <laughs> dude, they and they, they say boobs and I'm, I'm sorry, but I don't really think they even give a shit about those ones. <laughs> they don't, dude. They don't, like those ones. They don't give a fuck about none of this shit, dude. I hate you fucking animals. Uh, every, everything yeah. I fucking do for you guys, I fucking, mm-hmm. I come up, I come up, Wait. I've written maybe a billion bad jokes. Yeah. And what do I get? No. A nine to five <laughs> serving job that's pretty yeah. good and decent. <laughs> dude, mm-hmm. some guy DM'd me fucking this morning, I think, and he goes, I see you tweet a lot. So do I. We should be friends. And I was like, all right, this is not enough to have in common. I see you uh, like the post. He has like two followers. I'm, yeah, just I'm like, sort of a similar guy in many respects. <laughs> What's it, bro? I see that you uh, like to tweet uh, that you're gay a lot. Uh, I'm kind of, um, I'm a very similar man in many ways. Maybe we should get together and uh, hang out some Brainstorm. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much what it was, and I was just like, brother, you don't even know the half of it. Oh, man, dude, uh, where else are you going on the road, Grant? I want to hear what's more going on with you. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. we're going, um, yeah, we're starting in Eau Claire uh, on a Thursday night, Thursday the 9th, I think, then Des Moines, Friday, March 10th, uh, Omaha, Saturday, Boulder, Sunday, mm-hmm. uh, Denver, Monday through uh wednesday monday tuesday wednesday in denver thursday night we're going to fort collins to do the comedy fort and then friday comedy fort, it's good yeah yeah you three at the comedy fort yeah mm-hmm. whoa and then um clips clip clip city <laughs> oh yeah yeah <laughs> joey's you know joey's bringing the fucking camera oh he's oh, bringing, yeah. dude you guys got to make a sketch he's too, bringing man. the 5k camera we're gonna mm-hmm. <laughs> dude joey's uh, so sick man he's yeah cool it's gonna be man. fun and then we finish out that week uh, the 17th and 18th back in Denver, we're doing spots at the Denver Comedy Underground. Nice. So, cool. Yeah, we have we have shows every night. So it's Dude, t- you guys are doing the damn thing. Packing in a lot of shows. Hopefully, we can like break even. Maybe even make a little make a little. Yeah. I think you'll make a little scratch, a little I'm rice. Be, I'm gonna be I'm selling take away stickers. A little rice. For selling sure. stickers, you know, that's uh actually fairly lucrative on the road here. Like it's not it's people not people like the stickers. People, people just yeah. want to give you money. Exactly. If you do a good job, people just want to. I mean, that's the whole thing. And especially if you have like a nice little T-shirt or a nice little, which I got stickers are better. I got my T-shirt situation, dude. Do stickers, bro. Do stickers, bro. Like, no, I have good T-shirt ideas though. Oh, to sell like online. Yeah, I just want to sell them on. Like, I just want to like start making money off T-shirts. Dude, bro, we actually need to make a merch drop for this podcast. I have, I have three good ideas. That I've ran by like multiple people and they're like, that's funny. Like you have really good I fucking was cracking up when you told me about that wall. The the social security. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Are you still doing t shirts, Clay? I don't I haven't made one in a while, but I got them up. Go buy the gay Arby's t shirt. Got the gay yeah. Arby's t shirt. I'm with gay. <laughs> I'm with gay and it's pointing straight at you. I love those, dude. Um do you, does who up have merch? 
Yeah, we got a little thing. We got a little yeah. who we got a little who up merch store. It's stupid though. I think one of the t-shirts says uh, I listened to Who Up and all I got was put on an FBI watch list. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah, and then there's some like pocket tees. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Yeah. We uh, have to start we got to make a million dollars, man. We got to figure it out. Dude, I left the bar. I I was I felt myself blacking out on Saturday and so I just got into the Uber and nice. got out of there. Uh Did I am good uh, about that. Did you Irish goodbye? I soft Irish goodbye. You know, nice. I, I do. I give a little something, but not not anything good. Because when the Uber's here, I'm I, I bolt out. Yeah. But apparently, my I was me and Joey were heading to the bar because he knows his bartender in the East Village, and uh, we're walking over there. I'm it, he finished show. I finished at the show, and um, uh, I we we run into my two other friends. They're musicians, and uh, I'm just like, bro. It's like when you run into someone in New York, it's like the most fucking lit thing because you're just like, yeah, dude, let's fucking hang out. And then, so they come. So then we're all getting, you know, we're all getting lit up at the bar. And uh, I leave. I feel myself getting too drunk after like an hour. I leave. And apparently Joey's like they hang out a little bit more. And they told me the other night that uh, <laughs> Joey's like waiting for his Uber outside. And he's just like drunk. He's just hammered going like, dude, I'm like the f- best fucking comic in the city. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> that rule. Dude, it's so fun. Oh. We, we had Joey. He and I'm popped like, hell in. Yeah, that's so I can't awesome. wait for Joey to get divorced and become homeless, dude. <laughs> so fucking epic. Bro, he he popped in. I, 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 gotta, I gotta hang out with Iris. I gotta hang out with I gotta, I, I get, Yeah, me and Iris, we gotta go on a date. Uh, we gotta... Dude, he popped into a show, uh, the last show he did, and he's like, can I just do like a minute? And I was like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I just, I just kind of want to He go goes up and he just Dude, he does one bit, and it's crazy. Yeah, and I don't, I don't even remember if it did what. I don't even remember. I was hammered. That was good, but it was awesome. Was yeah. it because it's just like yes, dude. He just comes in and he does his thing, and then you're just like, that was awesome. He's, that was got, great. Dude, he's got these. He, Joey does have these like weird little two minute bits that cook. Yeah, yeah. shout oh, out to God, him, dude. Yeah. He's amazing, dude. He's Joey one of Hems. the. One of the one of the hardest follows you'll ever have is going up immediately after Joey. Yeah, if, yes. if he does well, and also if he does bad, it's all yeah. yeah. It's either it's hard <laughs> follow because you're just like I don't I don't know what was going on. I don't know what that was. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited. I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna be with him. I'm gonna be sharing a bed with the fucking burger man. So uh, nice, that's dude. so cool, dude. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, I'd love to share a bed with him. I would kill. That would do so share. much to I would sleep next to, sh- to that man. Yeah, to sleep next to that beautiful, <laughs> yeah, the beautiful Joey's, boy. Joey's good looking guy, incredibly hot woman. Um, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> so you guys did. Uh, did <laughs> thank you. Yeah, <laughs> so I see you. Yeah, uh, I see you over there, Grant. Well, you guys, you guys been doing a lot of shows. It looks like you've been keeping busy. Our February has been pretty jam packed. Yeah, other than the one show I had canceled, that I, I did. I did one show. I did a good show that wasn't mine, so I was pretty hyped on that. Nice. It's nice to do a show that's not you and, like, a couple of your boys. Yeah. Yeah. That's a really good way to, like, make connections, though, is running shows, so. Yeah, I mean, yeah. But it's also, like, so nice to be on something you don't have to worry about. You just show up and you're like, what am I going to talk about? The the Chinese surveillance balloon? I do so good when I just have to show up and worry about my shit. And then every single time I have to, like, host or do something else, then I don't do as well. Yeah. What sucks about that is hosting kind of sucks. Um, Booking it is fairly easy. But when you're, like, stressing out about whether a crowd is going to show up, that's like for me the biggest anxiety of running and mm-hmm. producing a show is like that's fair. like up to fifteen minutes before when you're just like fuck is anybody even gonna like come to this fucking show I even get it yeah. like at the open mic at Sisyphus when I'm hosting it's like it's in no way your fault if, if yeah yeah there, but still I don't know Dude, there's anxiety there we we have that anxiety every time we do a tiny boy show yeah and yeah. after the third one we were just like oh everyone shows up late so we just hold off until like yeah. they get there and everyone we're always shows up late it's everyone so in new york funny. everyone in new york show starts at eight o'clock we put it starts at eight seven thirty right everyone yeah. shows up at eight thirty and you're like all right well let's get the show on the road and everyone's like Damn. it hasn't started yet and you're yeah. like no idiots every time every nook show everyone misses my set every everybody who comes to see me they always miss my set because I always started off and they're like we and I'm like yeah I just started at eight 
because oh, it says seven thirty, and I started because they want it to be going by the time they get there, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Like, is that li- is that a millennial thing? Do you think like that feels very millennial to be like you want you don't want to have to like go and sit there and get seated and wait? It's the from show. the Princess Diaries, bro. They yeah. all watch the Princess Diaries, and Julie Andrews was like, "Queen never shows up late." Everyone else just shows up early, and everyone internalized that and was like, "The British thing." Yeah, yeah. The Brits infiltrated American media and ruined being on time for us. Yeah, I I think it is a millennial thing because there's so much, uh, there's so much to do. You know, no one wants to wait, and there's also no, and no, and and there's no time for awkwardness either. Yes, because you can just uh, not. You can just uh, you can just go in and you can't do something else. But also, I think FOMO, like there's a millennial FOMO connection where you, want, you show up late because you've you've exhausted all your other options. You know, this is that the, like you were waiting yeah. to like do something better up until the very last moment. One hundred percent. Yeah. Like Kyle texts you like, yo, bro, sorry, I can't go out tonight. And you're like, huh. fuck, I guess I'll take the 30 minute train over to this bullshit ass show that I said i'd go to and yes then, exactly and then they show up half an hour late and they're like Ugh. and then that's when you're like it hasn't even started yet yeah they're <laughs> like fuck i'm here early. god damn it and so yup yep now you got to talk to people idiot yes sir yeah uh, oh man it is funny though like we dedicate all all our lives to this and like dude the thought of going to a comedy show is just it sickens me <laughs> oh dude it makes me want to die yeah, to <sighs> just sit there in the club while you're waiting. I look out at the people and I'm just like, who are you? Who are you? I'm like, well, why, why do you like this? Yeah. Sometimes I'm like, how are you? And then everyone has such a good time. Yeah. And they come up to me and they're like, that was so great. And I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? What are you, in, what are you, in, would you take your fucking crazy pills this morning? The hell are you saying to me? Yeah. I like to, I'm like, so my brain, it's so funny. Cause I, when I got out of like, when we got out of like the quarantine and comedy came back, I'm like, this is the most magical thing. Yeah. It's a, and also I still have that sometimes depending on the night, but like, sure. I dude, I love doing comedy. Yeah. I hate watching comedy. Yeah, I know. Sometimes I know. Sometimes I'm in the mood, and sometimes I'm just like, what is when what? I'm in, dude, when I'm in the mood, when I did that the... Hasidic show, that was great. That was a good one. I liked watching that, that one was because it was so very fun to watch. Dude, I or not I said I did an all or I did a like an all Orthodox Jewish room. Yeah. What? On Valentine's Day. On what? Valentine's Day. Yeah. And I just like crushed. Dude, Wait. We were drinking Prosecco. He's being anti Semitic. Dude, dude, we were getting we were getting <laughs> playfully. It, yeah, it was very it was very within bounds. All the people there loved yeah. it. Yeah. Dude, we we're uh Dude, we got free drinks, and we just made this guy pour us, like, maybe a bottle and a half worth of Prosecco. So much fucking Prosecco. Dude. What is it? Manischewitz? Is that the is that the uh, Jewish wine? I don't. I didn't I think it's a kosher label. wine brand. Well, it's everything's kosher. It's a, it, yeah. it was a, it was the it was like a uh, the it was like a back room out of a like kosher Orthodox restaurant because we live in Crown Heights. And we live like in the Caribbean part. We're like on the border of the Caribbean and um, Orthodox part. Okay. So it is sick. Because if you go up Eastern Park, I should I not even say this? If you go I don't up, care, it, whatever. If you go up, come you, over. It's yeah, these are come, come, come over. We're gonna have a, well, we're gonna have a party. So we're gonna have a party soon. Uh, we should talk about our party too. You should. Uh, so, Fuck. um, but yeah, yeah. You just go up a couple blocks on Eastern Parkway, uh, more towards um the city, uh, like Bed Stuy Park Slope area, and it just it's all Orthodox, and then you just go back like a block on our street, and then it's just all Caribbean, yeah, and stuff like that. And uh, you told me about there was riots. Yeah, there was the Caribbean and Orthodox war. There's like a is there like a documentary on it. War. Oh, All right. Yeah, there was like a war and like the these war. are two separate statements I made. <laughs> <laughs> there were there were riots after like a like a, a bombing or some shit like a couple blocks down. Yeah, and we're not talking about my set. Right. <laughs> no, you crushed. Hey, hey, guys, it's good to be here. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no, Shalom. Really cool podcast. Shalom. That, Shalom. that was the one thing I was like I said another thing about the the orthodox jews and 
the uh, Caribbeans that I don't want to talk about on here. I don't think. Don't talk about it. Then. I think it'll make Grant uncomfortable. Yeah, don't oh, say. Yeah. Don't say. Sure. And I'll have to apologize. And then you'll have to apologize. Well, then we okay, won't say that you. part. Yeah. Thank you for for taking. Good job for censoring yourself. Yeah. This isn't my no, podcast. Yeah. No. This isn't my podcast where my life is going to be ruined. Yeah. Go Dude. listen. To, go listen to Clay's podcast if you want to hear what he said about the Caribbeans and the Orthodox. Dude, the Orthodox they have this thing. Um, Wait, keep, so is there you keep is there a difference between Orthodox and Hasidic? Yeah, yes. Orthodox is like it's like a uh Ben Shapiro. Okay. Right. Or but yeah, okay. Ben, it, maybe even more a little bit more uh, yeah, but it, it's like very conservative. Okay. Okay. Uh very uh, uh yarmulke, they wear um they're going to they're going to wear more like suits. You know, they're like it's very clean dressed. Mm -hmm. They're chill. Um, uh, yeah, not really, because they're they're cooler. Because I was the seeds, I, I was though. really the Hasids are psychos. Dude. The Hasids are they're scary. Fucking weird. Every religion's fucking fucked up. But like, I mean, like weird. Not shit. mine. <laughs> not mine. <laughs> Christianity. Get into it, okay, folks. Good Roman stuff. Catholicism. Roman uh, uh, two words. A Roman Catholicism. Okay, check it out. <laughs> um, but like I was even hitting off with this guy because it was really nice because like, you know, I grew up like Irish Catholic. And so we're just kind of, we're talking about like differences in religion. And there was like a, it was like a great bonding moment. And we're like making jokes about how like each one's got its own thing. It was like a very nice moment, yeah. the entire show, the entire experience, you know, because, you so know, it's, what uh -huh. was, what was this show? Like, well, I know this comic, Danielle Deluti, who, well, I, I was going to have her on the podcast uh, pretty soon. She's funny. Um, she, she grew up, rules, dude. She's, she grew up, uh, I went on her podcast too, so I should have a better memory. She grew up Orthodox adjacent. So not, right. so I think like being a part of like, uh, I don't know, I don't know what the, um, like the clergy that would be like the, the, the Christianity, but yeah. like the community, but like not really like being in in with, she in was with in the it. crew dude she was kind of in the squad it's like a it's, she was lightly in the squad it's like in the mob it's like uh you know when when a guy kind of yeah. helps out he's mm -hmm. there but he's not doing any of the work not made and she grew up yeah. in jersey and then went to school uh like you know Jer like jersey city so then and then, so then went to school in like manhattan with like other like rich upper east sider jews and stuff like that so she now she's in crown heights so i think she has like family and like still community you know okay. connected because okay. it's like same uh same same vibe so she had like this connect with this restaurant to book a show and uh so Just yeah a, all the, like a one-off uh valentine's thing or is she really yeah i mean she'll probably there? i think she'll do it again because it was such a it was, it such, was a big, great, it was such a big success it was wonderful uh, it's like a back room and stuff they got a whole yeah back room i mean it's as big as like comedy corner people are eating oh, cool. in there people are eating drinks are, there's people waiting tables there's a stage i'm there's, standing in their way yeah we're in a tight <laughs> corner we're 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 like yeah i'll do Just another chugging, oh my like, god up. well <laughs> Well, everyone's trying before, to before I go on stage and be like, what the hell you guys got going on? We're drinking roadies <laughs> in front of the synagogue. <laughs> yeah. I go up there and I was like, it's great that they hired a little Hitler youth guy for this event, you know, and that got a nice I, I that crush. I said that to you. I was like, should I bring that up? And you're and like, I said, feel the crowd out first. I open with it. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. I, I feel open like with it hits and i'm just like it's yep. it's time to ride i feel yeah. like it's always better if you have a question like that just say it just let it rip you know because people love it like well dude i had a thing that did well so they keep they keep a uh, bread bites little bread like, i spilled soap all over those dude they keep little bread by the bathroom and um what? See, hear me out hear yeah me out. so um like literally like it's like communion pieces of bread like scrunched up bread bites bits and uh, uh, it's like croutons, but they're not dry. It's like okay. croutons. It's like yeah. It, it's that sounds gross for some reason to me. Yeah, it's uh. Hey, I don't fucking know. It's uh, <laughs> uh huh. Uncooked croutons. <laughs> Raw croutons. R Raw tons. <laughs> so they keep a couple. They keep a little bowl of rawtons by the okay. bathroom, and I'm like. I'm like, what the hell is going on with this bread? I'm like, either this is a very this specific restaurant thing, or this is like an Orthodox Judaism thing. So I I bring it up, and apparently it's like this thing after you wash your hands, you're supposed to say a blessing, and then you eat bread. So they keep it by any watering place, but in the closest mm -hmm. watering place, just as so happens to be the bathroom. And the bathroom is just like this really tiny, tight New York bathroom. So I so I'm up yeah. on stage, and I'm just like. What the hell's going on with the bread? What are you gonna take a shit and go, ooh, fink ooh, fingies in the mouth? You guys make me fucking sick. <laughs> Dude, and it fucking 
It was so fun. I'm like, dude, you guys are nasty as hell. <laughs> yeah. But it was just like that's the thing. I I've never seen the bread before. And then they and then I got to ask one of the people like what what's up with the bread? And they got to say it. And then I said that was stupid. Yeah. And then we had a nice <laughs> there was a nice moment of cultures not understanding each other, but kind of coming together and yeah. You know, and having having some laughs. Yeah, it's it's kind of like if a if a Orthodox Jewish comedian was like, "Why well, you got ashes on your forehead?" You and we're just like, nerd. "Shut yeah. up, dude!" And you're just like, mm-hmm. "Yo, you're an idiot." And they're like, what about that? You? "Dude, they yeah. were they were roasting me for the wine." And uh, after the show, they were like, "You know, they're like, they're like, well, you have the, the you do the bread and the the blood. You guys think it's like Jesus's blood?" And I'm like. Yeah, that's true. That is the most fucking <laughs> psychotic thing. It's crazy. Yeah, that's I'm like, yeah, that's, that's actually way the most, stupider. Yeah, I'm like, that's the stupidest shit actually ever. Um, religion is dumb and But yeah. it's it's not until it's consecrated. It's yeah, you, you yeah. understand yeah. because it's like me- it's like a spiritual and it's like a metaphor. So <laughs> I had a I had a teacher be like because I went to some weird like uh, it would be like once a month I would I would get out of school. I can't oh they called it religious education oh yeah or like, uh, yeah 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 I was R edited I was R edited <laughs> R ed there's two R eds in school I was R um <laughs> um but the the teacher was like I could she had the she had the raw uh wafers like they weren't consecrated yet and she like yeah. threw on the floor and was like look i can do this because it's not it's yeah. not sacred but if you did this after it was consecrated it would be like you'd go to hell or something that's such a dumb way to there's, show how powerful a metaphor is there's a bit yeah. in something where some kid gets drunk off of the jesus one mm-hmm. and yeah. it was like made into a big deal but it's just like no but it's not to me being a nerd i was like but it's not consecrated yet it's not Bad that you drunk off yeah. the Jesus wine. They yet. cut mine, my wine, and my church with uh, grapefruit juice. Yeah, they or, oh, not grapefruit. They just cut it with juice. water. Mine. Oh yeah. And all, in the two that I went to, it was they cut it with water. I was stoked for it, dude. I liked the way it made me feel. I hated the. I hated it. Oh, it it t- dude, it made me feel warm inside. I, I would take a big gulp. That's how you know I was a little booze bag, even when uh-huh. I was like ten. <laughs> That's how you know you're Irish. That's how you know I was Irish because yeah. even when I was ten, taking a big gulp, I was like, ah, now now I'm getting right. <laughs> Going that back into weird. line again. <laughs> Going back in line. Yeah, I'll do one more round, priest. We never uh, got it closed because now. my parents said we shouldn't because everybody was just sharing one cup. Which That's is why crazy. I never did it. Do you know what my dad would tell me? What? He's like, you can't get sick off the Holy Spirit. <laughs> he really? Dude, it's he's right, though. Same. Some shit like that. It's like you same. can't. He's, right. he's like, it's blessed. Shit. He's like, it's blessed by G. You can't get sick. And then my mom would whisper to me, yes, you can get sick. Don't drink it. And I'd be like, well, I'm trying to get fucked up, so I'm already sick. All right, I'm already sick in the head. Yeah, I have a disease. I have a disease. <laughs> it's called I, it's called alcoholism that's been in my family for generations. God, yes. dude. I should have known this This episode was just going to make me want to fucking drink. I'm about to go to Acme. But... Oh, man. <laughs> oh, no, dude. I just got, Don't drink I get... there. Those are expensive. Yeah, those drinks are. suck. No, I'm, no mean... I'm, not, I'm not going to, but... Uh... Get a seltzer water with a little lime. Yeah, Dude, man. yeah, put a little bitters doing. in there, honestly. What I've been doing is, bad. um, I really like the the Lagunitas hop water things. Those are those are pretty good. Those are great, dude. And it makes you makes you kind of think you're drinking a beer, but not. It, yeah. it actually hasn't been that hard for me. Like once I, because I like I, I'm a momentum guy. So if I like oh, yeah. get into the like what I was saying about work, it's like I've been working a lot too, and it's kind of nice to like have the structure of all of it. And I'm not drinking, so I'm like. I like getting up early now. It, mm-hmm. Yeah. And I don't even get up early. I still oh, sleep dude, like 10 not- every day, but I'm like, I'm getting up early. I'm waking up with the sun. I'm still waking up at the same time, but yeah. I just feel so much better. <laughs> On my nights off though, I'm like, yeah, I wake up. I'm like, yeah, man, you're taking care of business. Yeah. Yeah. So, st- yeah, you're 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 more stoked on the day. Yeah. That's where I'm at with the with the drinking, but I know like, you know, it's I'm I, I was just trying to do February, just like the month, and it's actually like it's been because mm-hmm. I've tried to like take months off in the past and this has been a lot easier. I don't know why. Uh, yeah, well, it's you're a short getting, you're getting older, man. You're getting wiser, you're getting more you're more <laughs> comfortable and settled in yourself. Um, yeah, thank you. I appreciate that, but it's probably what Clay said. And he just it's, goes, a, it's, it's a shorter month. month. <laughs> also, we gotta look to, up to people like Martin Luther King, and that's true. You know, I've been saying in my head when it's my weekends, I've been saying, you I've been the, saying this around the apartment. Getting a nice long. I'll weekend. apologize this before I say this, but if I get a three day weekend, I go. Looks like it's uh Tommy Martin Luther King Jr. weekend again. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, looks like it's the famous Tommy Martin Luther King Jr. weekend. <laughs> he had a dream. Tommy that Luther dream King. Mo- that dream was Mondays off. <laughs> I hate Mondays. Tommy, it's Tommy Luther King Jr. Day again. It's Garfield Luther pretty King bad. Jr. It's Garfield Luther King. Sorry, guys. My bad. Oh, um, damn it. <laughs> Dude, yeah, I usually, I, I, I usually I really take wish se- we could name the episode Garfield Luther King Jr. <laughs> Dude, do it. Name the episode. Dude, <laughs> no, I've been taking Mondays. G O K G. I've been taking Mondays through Thursdays or Sundays through Thursdays off. Um, but my little brother has Mondays off, and I've just been going like, Nah, I can't do it. I can't. I got a thing. I got to take care of stuff. And then my show got canceled. Um, last night I was gonna do uh, which is funny moms. So I was kind of bummed out about that. Uh, got canceled. Bummer. Uh, yeah, they, they be canceling. They just like don't want. They like sell out, and they're just like, no, nah, we don't want to do it. Oh yeah. damn! Or whatever. I don't know. I don't want to say. It. They just didn't want to. They, they just didn't want to do it. But anyways, um, uh, it's uh, awesome. Yeah, it's fucking sell out. It's cool show. as hell. Um, and then my little brother hits me up, and he's just like, "We're getting cheeky pints at the oldest bar in New York. Oof. The first, bar, it's like the oldest bar, maybe Ooh. maybe the oldest bar in the country." Dude, I gotta take you to this bar, man. It's so sick. They, oh, I saw that picture of you guess guys what with they, the thousand Guinnesses, and I was like, "Fuck!" Oh, did I you post that on Instagram? Guess what they serve? What? Two things. Yeah. Light beer, dark beer. Yes. Well, that, the two beers. That they 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 don't. There's no. They don't pay. have the name on them. Light, dark. They make it in house. They've been making. They've been making it since the 1800s. You gotta go. It costs it like uh, McSwarley's. McSor- 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 I'll give you a McSorley. I'll give you <laughs> You fucking nerd. You fucking nerd. Dump you in a bunch of whiskey. Um that's all that they have is the beers? Two beers. They got two beers? Oldest guy ever bartending. God uh, awesome. And they don't and, have and, any and, booze or nothing? I think they might have well whiskey just well whiskey. Which is what? Which is Jameson or some shit that they distill yeah, in, just in some the shit, basement? Some shit. It's Some like all bullshit. their own shit. It's prison whiskey. Shit's good. It's decent price. It's uh, Fuck. dude. Uh, let's go there, man. We'll go what there. Are we, what are we doing tonight, dude? You probably fuck. I mean, fuck right this. Now. Let's go. I can't do that. Yeah, tonight. I'm dude. too. I'm poor right now. But uh, uh, oh, dude, it's such so, Grant. Such a good bar, dude. Mm-hmm. When you come to New York, dude, we're, uh, like um, the, a few blocks away from Union Square, uh, kind of more in the Soho direction. You go down. You dip down in the Bro, Soho. It's so close. East Village. Oh. 40 minutes, dude, and we're there. Oh, 30, 35 God. minutes. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Nick Swarley's, dude. And then they just and then they, they just got guys coming in. Everyone has Irish accents. They're all Irish guys. They're all good lads. They're all old good lads who've been there for like a hot minute. They're and they, all vampires who moved yeah, in and, they're and like, built this <laughs> city. They're just like, another round? Buddy. They're like, another round, boys? They're like, another round? Another round? Like, you want to do another round there? And we're just like, yeah, dude. And then they just come in, eight beers, plop them, and then they just grab mm. them. They just change you in and out fucking like you're a oh, like a nascar how, how is it <laughs> like you're a nascar crew and you got and they're your crew and they're just fucking <laughs> <laughs> and they're just fucking plugging you into more beers and then, and then you're you're with your mates your little brother little brother's best friend also good friend and you're like man it is cheeky hour right now holy shit woke dude. up this morning was hurting had to work with you know who she sucked Damn. but you Somebody know. had a little therapy appointment this morning. You pay the price. Ooh. Sometimes you gotta go to. You th- sometimes you gotta be a therapist at you work. See. Yeah, the therapy appointment where you're the therapist. Yeah. And I'm so stupid. She thinks I'm like smart because I don't talk. She's like, you seem so like centered and grounded. You're and I'm reserved. Like, and I'm just like, no, I'm actively having a panic ta- attack right <laughs> with you right now. Yeah. I'm just. I'm just. Qu- I'm just holding it in. If I freak out she right now, I'm you'll like a, freak out. She you thinks have... I'm like a stoic, and I'm just keeping it together for her because she's going to fucking lose her mind any second. Now. What are those animals that do that? When you freak out, they freak out. Bears? Is it bears? Mm. Aren't they more scared of you than you are of them? There's so there's no, one animal maybe. where it's like as long as you remain calm and move slowly. It snakes. Might be snakes? Snakes. Snakes are supposed to be still. Yeah. And I watched this documentary, Indiana Jones. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Have you seen it? Yeah. He's afraid of snakes. He's scared of snakes. Um, I gotta get out of here, boys. Indian Jones, you gotta go. All right, what are apologies? Yeah. You got any? I think yeah, we got are... it out. Technology. Chris owes us a fucking. We can't get started on that. Technology, again. Yeah. friends, coworkers, life. Everyone owes us this time. That's and true. Then, and then we apologize for being naughty. 
And then I'm sorry for being a little naughty on the I podcast. Sorry for, for the bad stuff. For everything. Grant, where are you going to be there, Stinky? Uh, just uh, go to go to grantwinkelscomedy.com slash shows. We're going to be on the road for a while. So, uh, come, oh, uh, before I go on the road, actually, uh, I'm, I'm headlining March 3rd at, at um, Forgotten Star Brewing in Fridley, Minnesota. And Don't forget boy, it. The young boy, Ryan Call, is featuring... Uh, Ooh, it's like five yeah. minutes from the cities it's basically northeast minneapolis uh so come through to that that's gonna go be, to that sell yeah. that out i need money before we go on the road you should tweet that out man you should we'll yeah we'll, we'll, guess, we'll, that. we'll guess that uh we'll Clay, you got anything i think it might be march 3rd or 4th i don't remember what the day is exactly but tiny boys come out tiny boys we're on that yeah. uh nice. and then yeah check out my instagram i got Bar shows and uh, the dumb shit, and we got we'll have sketches coming out soon too. Oh yeah, yeah. and right, check right. out uh, who up Clay's yep. pod. Oh yeah, I guess yeah, check that shit out. Listen to who up. Hell yeah! All Thanks right, Grant. For coming on the pod, Clay. Love of you, course, buddy. Love you guys. Peace. All right. Peace. Bye. Bye. Bye.